Wake up, man. What are you doing? Oh, sorry about that, Q. Oh, man. What, what are we doing today? It's supposed to be spraying greens, I thought. Oh, we're spraying greens? <laughs> yeah. Shazam! And that's how we do it here, folks. A little bit of magic never hurt me, but it did it. Um, yeah, so uh, this hey. morning, spraying greens, and, uh, and hey, man. you asking me. Uh, when are you going to get a haircut? Yeah, you might be asking, Josh, when are you going to get a haircut? Because let's face it, folks, it's a little scraggly right now. And uh, and for a man in my position, I have to look good for everybody, including uh, the lady golfers, including the car girls, including the occasional girl just running down the road. Um, it's very important for me to look as good as I can. Even though I still look good right now, I'm fully aware of that. But I need to look good on a daily basis. Hey, Josh, come on. What? I thought you were supposed to be spraying greens. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, folks. After, after you sleep for a little while, you sort of get all boggled up in your mind. Um, yeah, I'm sorry about that. So today we're spraying greens. Um, this is the sprayer that we're uh, down spraying with. Uh, it holds 160 gallons of water and product. We have another sprayer that holds 300 gallons, but you don't want a 300 gallon sprayer rolling across your greens. We'll use that sprayer to um, spray fairways, tees, rough with. So this sprayer right here, is specifically for the greens and around the greens. I sprayed around the greens yesterday. Um, today we're uh, putting product out uh, that sort of helps the green, the, the green not to be as susceptible to pythium root rot because that uh, that will destroy a green in, in no time under the right conditions. So this, the, the product I'm putting out today uh, uh, sort of helps it not to become as susceptible to root rot. I'm also applying Primo um, today they were they were dumping about three times per hole between two and three times per hole so the, pre, the primo uh, stunts the growth so it doesn't grow as rapid um, let's quickly take a look at this if you don't mind coming in and taking a look this is the pump if I have water or product in the uh, tank this pump has to be on um, and what it does is stirs up the water so everything doesn't become settled out or starts pumping up. So this keeps everything stirred, keeps everything uh, consistent there. Over here, we have our throttle over here. Um, when I'm spraying greens, I'm always going to be in first gear because you might be asking me, Josh, uh, how do you know how consistent the spray is? How do you know that it's coming out at the right speed? Well, because it's very important if you put too much product out there, uh, you're going to kill some grass. If you don't put as much, you're going to be wasting money um, because it's not going to be as effective. So I'm always in first gear with the pedal all the way down, and that keeps my speed consistent. As far as the product, the master, this master switch has to always be on, and these are my bins. And so here's the PSI rating. I'm going to make sure when I'm spraying that it is always at 40 PSI. Here's the pressure adjust. Uh, switch so I can adjust it accordingly if it's too high or too low um, and that keeps the product consistent uh, as it's coming out of the booms um, and uh, you're raising and lowering the booms right here like so uh, so now what we're going to do so you don't have to watch this grand green this video is already long as it is um, if you don't mind taking a look at the green the way it is right now so this is the way it looks right now no product out there um, and then here's what it'll look like after I get done spraying. This is the way it looks after. Um, so everything's applied. Uh, move on to the next hole. And I uh, actually almost forgot about the best quality, in my opinion, of this sprayer. And it has to do with the manufacturer. Here, I'll take you. Take a look at this, folks. Made in the USA. Because ultimately, it's all about America. Uh, that might be about it, uh, folks. So thank you very much for tuning in to uh, this edition of How Do You Do That? Golf Course Maintenance with your host, Josh Call. Have a great day. God bless America. Thank you.